today we're looking at all of the center backs that are worth your time in FC24. Let's get straight into it. There's a lot of different center backs we can go with. And with the Prem tomorrow, there should be a couple more added to this list very, very soon. So straight off the bat, let's get rid of a few of these icons that are kind of in the lower category. I believe I've kind of whittled down quite a few of the lower ones just to kind of keep it relevant because there's no point having like a Sol Campbell base, a Puyol base in here because realistically they're just going to be below B plus anyway. So there's just no point. We might as well go for their better versions and just put them in B anyway. Then obviously when we look at a few of the others then, we've got a lot of showdowns, which is really nice to be honest. We've had in the past uh, kind of couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, some decent ones that you could have gone for. I believe that is all of them that we've got. So Bastoni and Akanji were together. Sanchez was kind of in the middle and Eric Dyer was more recently for the Champions League. Now, arguably, all of them are fantastic. I think Davidson definitely comes in, unfortunately, lower than all of them. But what he does offer is still a very, very good centre-back mentality. Whereas Akanji, honestly, in terms of him as a card, he could be absolute top. Now, the difference with a lot of these is the fact that you could have put them in the Showdown Winners Plus or the Showdown Winners 2. So you could have made two of these, if you depend on if you've chose Felix, into a 91 already. So for instance, Sanchez, Bastoni, Akanji would be 91, Eric Dyer would be 92. So already you're looking pretty good. Obviously the intercept and also the block for our man Akanji. Dyer had Ariel and Bruzet, 162,000, which is very good. And then if we look at Bastoni, who came out just after um, a kanji at 277 with anticipate and slide tackle. What was that kanji again? So if you're looking to improve your team, make sure you're heading over to loopbar.gg. They are the best and most reliable coin service you can find. Also with the best 24 hour manual customer service that you physically cannot find anywhere else. But before finishing on loopbar.gg, make sure you are using the code JT11, 8% off your first ever transaction and then 5% off every time after that. Once you've gone through the payment, you'll be able to get your coins within the next 24 hours absolutely guaranteed. Also with the code, you'll be able to get 5% more coins on every transaction. Make sure you do click the link either in the description or down in the comment section below. I was gonna say, one was really expensive and I think that kind of plays into it a little bit, but I do think in terms of the top of the tops, you're looking at three really, really good showdowns. Bastoni, I could argue that he'd be down here a little bit, but I think the Playstyle Pluses hold him up, in my opinion, over the others. And I do think all of them are in that S category 100%. I don't know if I'd quite go S+. Plus. I would definitely say Team of the Years are still very much in there. Bright would probably, in my opinion, now go down one, but I still think she's very good for the rating that she is. But Virgil, Renard, and Diaz are exceptional centre-backs in this list. When we look at Virgil as well, because we've got a couple versions of him, I have got his Nike, his normal, uh, his inform, and his two informs, and his gold. I don't know why I've bought so many of them to the tier list. I'd probably be looking at something along the lines of this now. Now, arguing that the gold is still very much relevant, I can slowly see a shift now. I'm very much not seeing a gold Virgil in every team anymore, even then some of the informs. I'm kind of seeing the higher rated ones. Otherwise, I'm seeing evolutions. I'm seeing icon center backs. I'm seeing heroes. There's a lot of center backs in the game now to take away from that gold. It, let me know your opinion on it. Company, quite an easy one. I'd say the progression of him has been absolutely fantastic as always. I would go for something along the lines of this. I'd probably go A plus for his base now. Maybe even drop it down into this A. I think you could definitely argue with the, the kind of lack of, uh, of pace into him. Anticipate definitely puts him back on the map a little bit. The UCL is still very good, but the fantasy is absolutely fantastic. Same as Lucio. I've got his base here as well. I think they both now are pretty much in that sort of lower category. And I don't think that's a bad thing to say because they started the game. You've got an 89 and an 88. We're looking at 91. 192 plus now that is just the progression of where we're at in the game rio ferdinand i'd happily go in the a plus for his base quite easily very very good card in my opinion still and then when we look at his team of the year i, I do think he is incredible very expensive an sbc i'm not gonna lie in terms of what you can get him off the market it is crazy to see the difference in price you got 1.85 million or 2.65 
I love the SBC. I think the SBC is fantastic. You can get a very, very top-end centre-back. But with team of the season coming, I just don't know if I'd spend 2.6 on an SBC, especially with the fact that we are bound to get big SBCs as well. We're going to get icon packs, picks, whatever. We're going to get gambles. We're going to get loads of SBCs that is going to revolve around having a lot of fodder. Putting 2.6 into a card that is very good, but is going to be very obsolete very, very quickly. It's just my opinion. Carlos Alberto, easy S for this version. And the, the ultimate birthday ones are fantastic. 4 star 5 or 5 4, phenomenal. Same as Militao, I'd happily put him in here. And I think with the centre backs this year, we have got so many top end ones. It is crazy. Like all of these, I would happily pick two out of any of them. Genuinely, and you can go Company Lucio, Ferdinand Company, Virgil, Carlos Alberto, Militao, Rio. They all work exceptionally. Then going in through a few of the low ones, Yoshida, Kulabali. Yoshida was just more of a cheap SBC more than anything. That, that was kind of it. Dante would be the same. Axel, I'd possibly go one up, actually. I was very surprised on that card. Was... Well, I say expensive. I don't think he was too expensive, but he was expensive for the card that he is. 100,000? I swear it was like 160, give or take. Um, but still a very good card nonetheless. Arejo, I'd go into the A+. Love that card. Collins. Now, was this the one with the playstyle pluses? Intercept and also technical. That was it. Five-star weak foot. I think last time I went A with him and I was debating B+. I think the intercept definitely holds him very nicely. Then obviously having a bit of pace, defending physical always is going to work. Kimpembe can go into the A+. King, I'd probably go down into this sort of bottom category now. Sol Campbell would be the same. I think Blanc in the Icon Defender ones was the same as well. Same with Desai, very much in that kind of lower tier. Militao would be A+, plus, just under kind of that S+, plus for his 90. Diego Carlos would be kind of in the mud now, really. Then we've got Varane. Now, I love this version of him. The Thunderstruck, I think A+, plus would be more suitable. Then we have the three fire cards. Tomore, Rudiger, and also Ramos. Love Ramos in game. I think he is absolutely brilliant. And it's just down to him in general. They both have a, or all three of them, have a CDM version and a centre-back version. And I think if I was to go with them, would I go? I would probably now, I'd probably be putting them all into that A+. I don't think they've dropped massively, but I, I really don't think they're in that S at this point of the game. Cola, fantastic centre-back. Both versions of him, in fact, are phenomenal. And I'm pretty sure, do we have a Vidic here? Vidic is just unreal. Honestly, if he was to go with the Galazzo um, evolution on his 91, I, I think that one more is in that S+, plus as well. I think, genuinely, they are incredible pairing. The obvious with the 94, he's got the aerial and bruiser, I want to say. Whereas the 91 has got the aerial and also slide tackle, which is my personal favourite uh, Playstar Plus is for him. So you are looking at a massive price difference as well. But adding that extra 92 onto it, for me, is just an absolute game breaker for him. We then have uh, Luca Bayer. Is it Luki Bayer? God, I'm not going to say that name right. Uh, Joe Gomez can go down. Gravidal. Did he go up, in fact? I've, I've looked at every UCL card to make sure that they're up. Always the same rate and perfect, but I didn't I didn't see him, so that is a bit unfortunate. Is he a road to the knockout? No, he's a road to the final, so he could go up. No, he can't. Um, Kim Min Jae, uh, stat wise, is going to carry him. Saliba's fantastic. He's had a couple of evolutions that you could have done on him as well. Obviously, with the eighty eight unleashing potential, could have got into that eighty nine, and I can imagine he will go one step further as he is a confirmed team of the season as well. Auburn's going to go into the A+. We're then looking at Thiago Silva. Needs a big upgrade. I, I kind of get that that's coming during footies now. Um, Walker, as a centre-back, I'd, I'd go A at an absolute maximum. Marquinhos lost his potential, in my opinion. Arejo, easy S. Absolutely easy. Now, if he gets another upgrade on top of this one, that is going to be S plus for sure. Blanc birthday. Ooh, is Blanc that good at his birthday? I haven't really used him heavily. I've kind of used him like at the time, but anticipate Ariel. 
From what I remember, I want to say that he was very good, but not necessarily S+. Plus. I could be totally wrong. I might be thinking of a different version of him, but I think that would be where I'd go with him. Cannavaro's an easy A+. Plus. Nesta can get in the bin. Love Delip. S is an easy all-round for Delip. We've got Maldini. I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, 93 can go with... Uh, no. Yeah. No. We'll go 93 there, and then we'll go the 92 there. We haven't got the base version, as that's just even further down. Yashin, I'd probably I'd probably still go into the S. I think going A-plus at this point with him is a bit harsh. I think he is still definitely up there. We then get A-plus. Konate is going to be A-plus. Tadebo, he just really didn't hit the ground running. He's got very, very good pace, but he just really didn't do much. Carvalho easily into that S now, especially with that double upgrade on the final day. Sule is kind of just getting there. Desai and Campbell, fantastic centre-backs. Absolutely love the pairing. Van der Ven was good, but not necessarily crazy. Mappy Leon would be about the same, in my opinion. Nesta would be as well, as kind of in that same zone. And then we have the team of the seasons. Now, in terms of the value of all of these, we have got ourselves a 604k Romero. We have the Man City centre-back at 67. We then have Bicek or Bisek at 580. And then we also have Otamende 24 and Incape at 106. Now, in terms of where they're going, I thought Romero was phenomenal. Genuinely, genu genuinely phenomenal. He was brilliant. Bisek for the price is easy into that S. I would then go the rest of them into that A+. I think they have got that ability to really push it forward, but they just need that extra push. Now, the big thing with these team of the seasons is they are live, if you didn't know, and they do get upgraded if their team wins two in the next four domestic league games and scores eight goals in their next for domestic league games. So there is a potential of a 94, a 93, a 93, a 91, and a 92. Also alongside that, I want to say all of them can be put into an evolution, which does make them one higher as well. I don't know if Romero can go into it, but we will soon find out. So Hincape can, Otamende can, uh, Bissek definitely can because I've seen him. Romero can go into it. And also the other centre back, the Man City lady can. So they get a one better potential. So we could be looking at a 94, a 92, a 93, a 94 and also a 95. Now if you was to go and put Romero in as a 95 if they managed to do it, that would be incredible. But that is going to be my list for today. Team of the season is coming for the Prem this Friday. Let me know down below who's in your team. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Check the videos on screen and get to grinding. Peace.